unshakable in faith. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 to 9. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. The Apostle Paul, writing to us here uh, as believers, he encourages us. He alerts us and he encourages us. He alerts us to the fact that there is an enemy who prowls around like a lion, just as a lion would prowl around going very stealthily in order to catch its prey. He says, in a similar manner, the devil is going around looking for an opportunity to pounce on us or attack us, to get us off guard. So he says, be sober, be vigilant, be always on guard, be alert. Don't let there be a time spiritually uh, when you drop your guard, you turn your back, you look away. No, he said, be vigilant spiritually. And he says, your, uh, resist him, resist the devil. How do we do that? He says, being unshakable, being firm, being rock solid in your faith understanding that these are challenges that everyone else are facing, uh, every other believer is facing in this world. So how do we engage with the enemy? We do so being steadfast, being firm, being unshakable in our faith. You see, when the enemy tries to attack us in this fight of faith, we must become strong. We must become resolute in our faith. That means you intentionally go back to the promise of God and you look at the promise of God and you say, God said it and I've decided to believe his word and that's the way it's going to be. That means you, are, you have decided to be steadfast in your faith, your faith in God and your faith in his word. He says, fight like this, fight being absolutely firm in your faith. So let's say, you know, you're believing God for provision in your life. You're believing God for healing for your body. You're believing, believing God for a provision of a job or a, a breakthrough in your career or your, uh, some other area of life or ministry. You're believing God for something. You know, when you are engaged in that, you have to be steadfast in the faith. The devil is going to come, try to attack you attack us and try to rob us of our faith. But we must resist him being absolutely firm in the faith. How is he going to attack us? One of the simplest ways that the way that the devil attacks us is by trying to cause us to doubt the word of God, cause us to doubt God's faithfulness to us, cause us to doubt that God is going to come through for us. And so he's going to attack us by throwing doubts at us. But what must we do? We must be steadfast, unshakable in faith and resist everything the enemy attempts against us. So I want to encourage you today, be firm in your faith. Be unshakable in your faith. The doubts will come, but doubt your doubts. Those questions will come, but always respond with the word of God. Fight the good fight of faith, standing firm in your faith. Let's pray. Father, we ask that even today, you'll help us be steadfast in faith as we engage in the spiritual battle against the enemy of our souls. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.